We're going to look at Epic, recorded by Faith No More on their first album with Mike Patton, uh, The Real Thing. Uh, I did a play along uh, before, you can see it up here, and this is the lesson component. We're in standard tuning, key of uh, E minor. Let's look at the main riff. Okay, so that main riff, we're going to come in on an E, uh, e major chord, so we're in E minor, and we are, but it's the uh, first chord, you can hear that G sharp in there, and that kind of gives it some of that, that, that interesting sound that Jim Martin's got there. So it's just a straight E major chord. Okay, then we're going to go uh, up some power chords on the A string. B power chord, then C, then D. C. D. E. And that last part. Okay, we're doing two palm mutes on the open E and a power chord on the third fret, second fret, third fret. I downstroke all uh, of those. And on those ones, I, don't, I just do a two note power chord version. Uh, first and pinky for me, it's just sort of sometimes easier, but first and third, of course, works fine. That's that main riff, um, comes into the verse, does that exact same uh, riff again. Right after the second time it does that, we've got a, uh, a part that goes like this. Okay, so we're doing uh, three strokes, not palm muted, on just on the bottom uh, G note, third fret. Then hit the open E. So don't pull that off, hit that open E. Uh, so you've got four down strokes in a row. Then we've got the uh, E9 chord. Um, at one point he brings in the G, but generally it's an E9 chord. So from the seventh fret, doing seven, six, seven, or an E, G, sharp, and D. Okay. Three open palm mutes there. 
and then you hit the same chord sixth fret and then move it back up. Same intro part. Then you've got this run here. Three top three strings it goes like this. Okay, that is tricky. There are three parts for me in this song that I found are quite tricky. Um, and this is the first one. So again, you've got that pattern of a six, seven, eight, and just move it up a fret four times. Okay, now in terms of your right hand, which is where the, the difficulty comes in, um, I do a down, down, up, down, down, up, and, and follow that pattern. You could just do down, down, down uh, if you wanted to. So you've got to learn that kind of sweeping. I like the down, down, up because my pick's are already down there, past that high E string anyway, and then I can bring it up to come and start the next one. Okay. Okay, tricky one. Okay, then it goes into that chorus. Again, same chords as we've seen before. But this time when you get to the C, the harmonies come in, some cool, cool harmonies in this. So I'm going to call it uh, guitar one, guitar two. So guitar one, you're playing uh, C, D, and E octaves. Um, now I think Jim Martin, the guitarist, plays more of this style octaves, where there's a two string gap. Um, I, I use the more traditional, I suppose, the uh, outwards, uh, outward ends of a, of a power chord there. Um, and I, to do the octaves, I'm using pick and fingers. Okay, so. Okay, down, pick, uh, middle finger. Okay, now the second guitar there slides up uh, to the E. We're going to do E octave on the seventh fret, F sharp, ninth fret, G on the 10th fret. Okay, same uh, picking pattern with the right hand there. And then it goes into uh, what I think is just a small power chord. So just the... Um, okay, so it's just... I do seven and nine there. Again, I use my pinky there. It's, it's more comfortable for me. And you're palm muting on that bottom E string. Okay, so that chorus a bit again with the harmonies. I'll just do uh, guitar one. Then we're into the next verse. Now after that, he comes in with that same, exactly the same thing again, goes into the chorus again. The chorus again has that harmony part with the pick and the fingers. Guitar one is doing the uh, C, D, E. Guitar two is doing the E, F sharp and G. So a nice harmony of a, of a third in this scale, which is, which is really, really common. We're in that E minor, E natural minor scale or the E Aeolian mode. Okay, after that, when we're on this part, he stays on that, he being Jim Martin. Um, okay, so coming out of that, uh, that chorus there. Okay, he's just uh, hitting one power chord and then four notes. Okay, one party brings in this gallop. Okay, that's a tricky, another tricky part. It's the second of the three tricky parts. Okay. 
Okay, uh, and then we are into that part just before that guitar solo. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so we're starting just like the intro. We're going to start with an E major chord. But then we're going to arpeggiate. We're going to hit the high E, the G string open. So we go from E major to an E minor, and then hit the B string open like this. Okay, so E major chord, hit the high E string open, the G string open, and then strum down. I try to target either those three or those middle four strings to hit that open B, okay? Then we're gonna do a G, um, sort of a G third, fifth fret, fourth fret, and then fourth fret, fourth fret. All right, after that, we're really into to sort of where that solo is. Guitar one, guitar two, again, they are doing the same thing uh, for this first part. Guitar one repeats that, but guitar two continues uh, A, C, D, B. Okay, so I'm just doing uh, octaves there, standard octaves, 12 and 14. Then I move to the next set of strings, so D string, B string. Um, so I'm doing a 10 and a 13, 12 and 15, 9 and 12. Okay, then we're into that guitar solo. Let's have a little look at that. All right, so that guitar solo, I'm going to put some tablets down below. It's um, sort of uh, easy to follow it's, because what we're talking about here, I suppose, is four guitars. There's guitar one and guitar two, broadly doing the same thing. There's only uh, one part where they where they do something different. And then you've got the two harmony guitars on top doing uh, doing that harmonized guitar solo. So firstly, we're going to look at what uh, the rhythm guitar, I suppose, are doing underneath that harmony solo. Um, and most of it is uh, in octaves. Um, and if you think the E minor scale, E Aeolian mode, um, then, then you're fine, and you know it's easier to remember uh, where where the notes are. Okay, so he's going to start with uh, E octave, seventh fret on the A string, go down to B, seventh fret on the bottom string. Then we hit the F sharp down to D. Right, where we go from the E to the C. And that sort of second beat, he'll bring in uh, the power chord itself, okay? So. Okay, uh, E and C again. F sharp and hit the D power chord. Then we've got the, the G and then to the C. C power chord on that bottom string. Again, refer to the tab uh, below. But on that part where it hits a C power chord at the end, the second guitar hits an E octave. Again, check the tab. That is uh, probably the only difference between those rhythm guitars, what they're doing. All right, let's look at the harmonized guitar solo. Again, tabs down below are going to be uh, your friend here. Um, what's happening here, we're doing harmonies uh, of a, a third, again, straight out of uh, E Aeolian mode. So um, I'm going to play play the bottom one um, quick, uh, just one through, and then I'll play the top one and again refer to the tab. Um, so we're starting up uh, on the G, we're hammering on from the F sharp. Then it comes in that unison lick at the end. It's the third of the three really tough parts in this song. Come to that in a second. All right, let's play that harmony part. Now, uh, we're basically going up 
a third. So we're going to start on the 19th fret, hammering up from the 17th. Now let's have a look at that last lick, which is really tough. All unison, I need four unisons on this one. Let's have a look. Uh, it's really E minor pentatonic. Doing that bluesy bend, you're holding the 15th fret with your pinky, bending up the 14th fret full step. Then you're gonna hit 12, pull off 15, 12. And then here's the run. Now again, economy picking. So down, down, up, and then pull off. Okay, 14 on the G string, 12, 15. You're pulling off that 15 to 12. Seven time, eighth time, you bend up that 15 up to the octave. That's for me the hardest part of the whole song. That's it. Epic. Faith no more on the real thing. Good luck. See you next time.